join me as I transfer my boring small bathroom into a not only functional but beautiful space for me and my family. I'm going to be sharing tips to how to decorate with functionality for your own home and just sharing tons of decor ideas. All of that. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Let's go ahead and get started. everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new hi i'm Haley, and i'm so happy you're stopping by today's video i hope you'll stick around and subscribe on my channel i love sharing tons of cleaning motivation mom motivation and all things homemaking and decorating videos and like i said in the intro in today's video we are going to be transforming my bathroom and finally decorating it it has been just a blank slate for the longest time and I'm so glad that I finally took the time to decorate this space. It feels so good and it's way more functional for our family because I added in pieces that are norm not only decor pieces, but they also are functional and add more storage where we don't have a ton of storage in this bathroom. So the first thing that I wanted to start out with today is just giving the bathroom a quick little tidy. I wanted to clean the vanity, the mirror, and the toilet. I'll do the floors later. I knew that we were going to be adding stuff to the walls, and so I wanted to do the floors later. And then I didn't worry about cleaning the tub on this day. That can be for another day where I wasn't really focusing on decorating in there at all. But I'm going to get this kitchen clean, and then we'll get started into all of the decorating. I'm so happy that you guys are here today. Please forgive my rudeness if I'm tripping over your time. But you look so amazing. And we can be so much more than who we are. So much more than who we are. We can, we can. And knee deep in while the world just falls apart. At the rise of our people. And we can, we can. Got me saying hey. all of the befores before we add any other decorations into the space when you guys see the very end before and afters there is such a drastic change there's just so much more brightness and like life into the room and it just is way more cozy and homey and you know i feel like when you don't have a very decorated space you don't realize how much it just is like blah to you but now when i walk into my bedroom it and not my bedroom my bathroom it just makes me so happy it's so bright when i'm getting ready and i wish i would have done this sooner but it's definitely inspiring me to really tackle our bedroom and make it more functional and just brighten up the space because like i didn't really think it was going to make that much of a difference in our bathroom and you'll see but it is so much brighter in there it's crazy the difference but we're getting started with this over the toilet cabinet there was quite a few different ones that i was looking at but i ended up landing on this one and whoa i can't talk and it ended up being perfect i got the majority not really the majority but a lot of my items from amazon and i'm going to try to link those down below you're gonna see in this video there was a couple of different mistakes that i made and that's okay that's just life and everything still worked it was just me user error not paying attention but of course i had to have my husband's help trajan because he helps me with all the building of stuff and then hanging stuff he makes sure that it's all even and level and i'm totally happy with that and glad that he will do that because me trying to hang stuff up on a wall I probably would have had it crooked and not very straight, but he made sure it was perfect. So I'm so glad he was there to help me. Yes, I'm lost in the fun park now. I've been go round, your was viral going down there. I've been racing you all through town. There's no limit till you sleep, never ever turn to beat, no. We just fired away without a second to ensure what we signed up for. I know what you're gonna say I know what you'll do 
Our house doesn't have a ton of storage, so my main reason for wanting to really bring this over the toilet cabinet was because I keep a lot of my makeup on the counter in like that plastic organizer that um, has drawers because I didn't want Waverly to get into there and like ruin my makeup palettes or like get into my makeup or anything because that can be really messy and makeup can be pretty expensive too. So I thought this would be perfect to kind of store a lot of my things that I didn't want her to touch. So you're going to see I add my makeup, my makeup palettes, and I was trying to figure out how I wanted to organize it and you'll see how I ended up kind of organizing things and I might rearrange and like change things and something else that I might add is I kept that container organizer and I just put it down low into our open shelving and that was part of the reason why I couldn't like we didn't have a ton of storage because that's all open shelving and you'll see what I kind of do to help that situation I'll need your guys advice when we get to that part but I keep some of my extra razors and other things that I'm trying to decide if I want to bring those up to the cabinet. Since we added what we did, it does help Waverly not want to touch it. So we'll see. I might see if she kind of touches it, but I also don't want her to get into those because that would not be good. But you're going to see now how I'm kind of organizing it. And for honestly, a lot of the bathroom... I just wanted to do a ton of functional decor so that basket that I had on the toilet that holds my washcloth I was like perfect that can just go on top and then I'll add my mirror and that can act as decor because it's just sitting on top but it's also super functional and that's what I'm all about it doesn't look bad it looks nice up there but overall I'm super happy with this cabinet and I ended up putting my lotion like my face lotion and then I also added in my brush because I always keep my brush down with my hot tools and there's a lot of times that I don't end up using needing to use my hot tools because I have naturally straight hair so if I just am having my hair straight I usually don't have to straighten it very much it's usually like the first day and then after that I really don't so I kept my brush there for convenience and then for also just more just decoration type stuff I'm just adding some extra toilet paper there if we need to that could definitely be a space that we add some more functional things that we need to use in our bathroom but for now adding the toilet paper there works great Waverly can't get into it and it's perfect but for these counters, I want to keep them pretty simple, especially after having so much on there. Um, so what I did was I got these little storage containers from Amazon. It came in a pack of four. There's two large and then two a little bit smaller. And what I did was that with the two bigger ones, I put our flossers and Q-tips. And then the smaller one, I just have Waverly's toothbrush and toothpaste. And it ended up working perfect. I originally just had it by itself. And then I was like, I think this needs like a tray to kind of just make it all tied together. And that was exactly what it ended up needing. And then on the right side of the counter, I just added um, our hand soap that we already had. And then just some greenery. And then you'll see I added our little stool. I think that's basically, yeah, a stool. And just kind of rearranged it 
there and that was all I did for the decorations. I wanted it pretty simple so that way as we're getting ready, if like me and my husband end up getting ready at the same time or something, it's not super crowded and I thought that was perfect. Something else that I wanted to add to like the countertop area is a little towel hook um, because right now we just keep it on our towel rack and especially like when we have friends over or family or anything, it's just more convenient to have it there um, for people to use it when they wash their hands. So I want to add one of those. We just didn't make it to Lowe's or Home Depot before this, which is totally fine. That's like an easy, simple thing that we can add to the space. And there definitely is a few other things that I do maybe want to add. But moving on into this under the like counter area, I was straightening things up and I kept that plastic organizer like organized with stuff and then we have Waverly's towels and washcloths and then we have our towels and it's just not very pretty and I was trying to decide what to do I thought about just doing like a couple of baskets but I also was like we have a lot of just other things that you need drawers so what I ended up doing was getting a tension rod and then grabbing some curtains and adding those I don't super love it, but I also don't hate it. I think it just makes the space look way more clean. Um, you'll have to let me know about the color. I thought about doing brown, but I didn't want the browns to not match. Um, and then I figured white or like cream or tan or something might get dirty. So I went with black. Let me know what you think. Do you like this? Do you think that I should just take them down? Should I go with the basket idea? Let me know. Um, and if you guys have any other ideas, let me know too. For now, I, I don't mind it. I feel like it works better than what it was. And it honestly is keeping Waverly out of underneath the cabinets, which I think is also good because I don't mind if she gets into those things, but then it just makes it so... I have to clean up more messes and especially where she's potty training right now she's in the bathroom a lot more so we'll see let me know what you guys think um me and my husband are both trying to decide if we like it but now moving on into this shower curtain we were in desperate need of new shower hooks I think we ended up having like three or four broken so went ahead got rid of those and then here's another mistake I made I got a stall shower liner i didn't notice until i thought something was weird when i was hanging it up and you'll see but i just went with it well i got these shower hooks too from amazon and they're like the double hook where they have one for your liner and then one for the shower curtain somebody had told me about these um, and they commented on a video and so that's what I looked for when I found it and overall I really like it It's gonna be super nice for when we change the liner But one thing I didn't notice about the liner was that it was longer than like our other one But it's because it was a stall shower liner um, but as I was hanging it I noticed that there was more hooks for the shower curtain than the shower liner and I was really confused so I ended up making it work to where there was just a couple of extra like on each end. But then yesterday, well actually it was this morning, my husband showered and he came in after and was like, so our shower curtain's like really long in the bathroom. And so finally I put it together and then it confirmed when I was editing that I got a shower stall liner. So we'll see how long we end up keeping this one before we get a new one. Um, kind of funny though, I didn't even look at it when I bought it. I just went to the shower 
liner section and just grabbed one. So make sure you read that so you get the right one. You'll probably be smarter than I was about it. Trajan thinks he's so funny when he's hanging stuff up. He'll be like, let's put it up this high or angle it or something. And I'm like, no, that's not happening. But I got these two pictures from Hobby Lobby. I can't remember how much they were, but I got them at 50% off on the week that they have that sale. And I really like them. They're like a sage green, but I feel like on the camera, they pull like a gray, which I don't mind that they pull that. I didn't mind that it pulls gray like in the actual like real life light because it just gives a little bit more like brightness and just color to the space but adding the just full white well I think it was ivory shower curtain and then the white uh pictures and then that white cabinet brightened up the space so much like it is crazy how much brighter it is I didn't really feel like this space could get brighter but it feels so much brighter and we couldn't decide well we were trying to decide if we wanted to center the pictures on the wall or if we wanted to center them more to the right and then get like some shelves or something over the towel rack we ultimately decided to just center them on the wall but Trajan's gonna do all the math now and hang up these signs It was really hard for me to find the right like kind of rug I was trying to decide which slide I wanted to go with I felt like if I found one it was gonna take over the whole bathroom and I didn't know if I wanted that so I ended up just finding these at Walmart and I liked that they were kind of like a cream and a white so they will hide kind of messes if they happen but I thought it was perfect. I might also add a laundry basket in here just for more storage in Waverly's room. But here is just a reminder of what all of the befores look like before we decorated. And you're going to see in just a second just how much these few decor pieces really changed the space. I think in total I spent between $150 to $200 on all of the stuff that I bought and then I used some stuff that I already had. Overall, I'm super happy with how this bathroom turned out. It's just so much more bright and inviting and it's going to feel so nice when we have company over that they can go in here and it feels just more homey and I'm just overall super excited about how it all looks. You'll have to let me know what you think about everything. Let me know what you think about the curtains. I'm really interested to know what you guys think but thank you guys all so much for being here and watching today's video if you enjoyed today's video please give the video a thumbs up and if you want to see more decorating and cleaning motivation be sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss any more of those videos and i will see you guys all in my very next video bye you guys so you think you were right mm -hmm. bring it on bring it on prove me wrong Go put up a fight mm -hmm. The way I do, way I do will not